55 Minute Total Body Boot Camp. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today you'll need a set of dumbbells that you can use for both upper and lower body. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know every time one of our workouts posts. Let's get started. So we have a warm up, three exercises, and then we have a really fun workout for you today. So we're gonna start with narrow squats, wide squats, in and out, super fast. You can jump it if you want, or you can do fast feet. I'm gonna give you lots of options. Whew. So we have three exercises. You heard me, three exercises in the warm up, three steps. Then we have 10 exercises today. I know, doesn't seem like a lot, right? Well, that's because we're gonna do each for one whole minute. Five sets, fun times. You're gonna feel this in a totally different way. Lateral squats or lateral squat jumps. So side to side or squat it, squat it. Whew. So again, 10 exercises today. One minute per exercise, five sets. Totally different variants on exercises that you've done in the past. Get down, push up pulses. So hands outside your shoulders, looking about a foot ahead, halfway down, all the way up. Core is tight. Feet are nearly spread apart. 15 seconds, then we start again. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, so narrow squat, wide squat, or jump it. Whew. Or maybe you jump it half the time, you walk it out half the time. Today we have lower body, upper body, core, cardio, all of the above. Whew. Four, three, two, one. Lateral squats, so squat out, or laterally jump them. You decide. Whew. So why do we mix things up like this? Because we're trying to shock your body. When we shock your body, we stimulate fat burn. And isn't that the goal? Whew. Seven, six, five, at least one of the goals. Four, three, two, one. Getting down. Push up pulses. So we're looking straight ahead, about a foot, hands outside of the shoulders. 15 seconds, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Last time for this warm up. So narrow, wide. I'm also gonna show you how to utilize bands with some of these exercises. Don't worry, all they need are dumbbells for today, but I do want you to try and diversify your equipment. That way you're not always grasping things in the exact same way, doing exercises with the same set of dumbbells. And bands are perfect for when you go on vacation and you might not be close to lateral squats, guys. You might not be close to a gym facility and you still wanna get in a great workout. They weigh less than a pound, take up no space, and provide a lot of resistance. Whew. Remember, these can be jumping lateral squats. We're going down for push-up pulses in five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Twenty seconds, and then our first exercise will be a wide leg burpee with a push-up. I am going to put a band right above my knees, get a little extra resistance. Do not worry, you do not have to. But again, 
just showing you if you have either the equipment already or you're thinking about purchasing extra equipment, what you can utilize. So, whew, I'm gonna take this band, I'm gonna put it right above my knees. We're going to burpees with a wide leg push up. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, let the party begin. Jump it up, legs out, push up. Feet come in, jump up, legs wide, push up. Whew. Pushing against the resistance if you have the band. If not, no worries. <sighs> wide leg, push up. <sighs> Remember, we are here for one whole minute. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Next up is goblet squats. You can either use two dumbbells or one. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I'm going to use a single dumbbell, a little bit heavier, holding it in both hands. Feet are turned out at 10 and 2 o'clock. I'm squatting down. My elbows are touching my knees. My hips are pulling back. So really try and pull those hips back. Knees are tracking over the ankles. Squeezing those glutes on the way up. 20 seconds. Then we're going to pick up two dumbbells, medium weight. We have two movements in one, upright row to a front facing press up. In nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I have medium dumbbells now. Upright row, rotated, front facing press up. Back down, upright row, rotated to the front, front facing press up. Whew. This is exercise three of 10. Do not arch the back. Think about tucking the hip bone, tucking the hips under like this, drawing in your core, but don't let that, arc, that back arch as you press up those dumbbells. And remember, they're facing the front. We will be doing military press type exercises later on in this workout. In 10 seconds, we go to squat jumps. So no weights in five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. So we're gonna squat jump. We squat down, we jump up. If you'd like to make these air squats, totally fine. But what I wanna make sure of is those hips are back, those knees, whew, we're really working on getting those knees over the ankles, sitting back into it. I know, feels like you're gonna fall over, right? But you have a whole minute to work on this. From here, we have a core exercise. We'll be lying in a supine position. That means face up. If you'd like, you can grab a small weight. When I say small, five or eight pounds. If you don't have a weight, no worries. I'm gonna show you the exercise with no weight, and then you can decide if you wanna add one. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm gonna have the small weight by my side. Lying on our back, small of the back, pressing down into the mat. We lift and lower. The goal is to really target the lower abs, below the belly button, below your hip line. If you want, put a small weight in between 
your, your shoes, whew, but you need to be able to still keep the small of your back pressed down to the floor. If that's not possible with the weight, then you need to remove that from the equation. 15 seconds, and then we're gonna grab a single dumbbell for a reverse lunge with a horizontal press out. Chest press out. Three, two, and one. So I'm gonna show you two ways to do this, with a weight and with a band. We reverse lunge, press it out. Get that knee to the ground. When I switch legs, I actually have a band nearby that's connected to a fixed object. And I'm gonna use the band for my left leg. We're switching in five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. So, pressing out as I lunge down. This is exercise six of 10. Next up is a plank frog with a push up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get down, get ready. Plank frogs with a push up. Whew. So we push up, we jump to hands. Hello. Whew. Remember, stay low, look ahead as you push up. If you don't want the push-up, you feel like there's too many push-ups in this workout, then just do the plank frog. And if the jumping's bothering you, step it in, step it out. 22 seconds. 20 seconds. 15. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, take a medium weight. We're gonna laterally squat. So we're going one, two, keeping the feet hip distance apart. Get to the end, squat down five times. Two, three, you've got it, four, five. And if you wanna add a band above your knees, you can do that. Or you can do it next time, since you weren't prepared. 30 seconds to go. So we laterally squat walk, keeping our feet hip distance apart. Squat five times on each end. Woo! Laterally squat walk. Do not bring those feet inside of the hips. And one. Two, three, four, five. Grab a second dumbbell. We have man makers. So we're getting down. No push up this time. We row, we row, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, military press up. Woo! Row, row, feet jump to hands. Camera curl, press up. Believe it or not, this is exercise nine of 10. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> the last exercise will be frog hops. Okay, put your dumbbells down. When you're ready, we start with frog hops. So, it's like you squat jump, forward, reverse, forward, reverse. You've got it. You wanna make it more difficult? Jump over a dumbbell. Bring in a fixed object, jump over it. 
a hurdle, a cone. Okay, we're almost done with set one of five. We'll take a quick second to get some water, towel off, and then we start again in five, four, three, two, and one. Burpees with a wide leg push up on deck. Hmm. And optional band above the knees. Whew. You've got it. Okay. Jump up. Wide leg, push up. Way to go. Set number two on its way. So think about pushing out. Even if you don't have that band, think about your hips. Whew. Squeezing your glutes, drawing your core in. 15 seconds, then we're gonna pick up a heavier dumbbell or two dumbbells for goblet squats. In three, two, and one. Whew. Okay. So I'm holding each head of the dumbbell. My feet are turned out 10 and 2 o'clock. I'm trying to track my knees over my ankles, squeezing my glutes, core tight. From here, we have an upright row to a front facing press up. Halfway. By the way, I don't know if you can hear it through my mic, but there is a huge storm outside. There's thunder, there's lots of rain, but we keep going in here. Whew. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Upright row to a front facing press up. So remember, don't arch that back, tuck in the hips, upright row. Palms facing. You've got it. This is exercise three of 10. Next up, squat jumps. Be mindful. Do not arch that back. Think about your core. If this feels like it's too heavy, try and hang on for this set and then go down and wait on the next set. Or you can, if you don't have a second wave, alternate arms like this. So you turn into a unilateral exercise. Whew. Okay. Squat jumps coming at you, which can also be air squats. Okay. Sitting back. Think about sitting back. Jump, squat. We're going into supine position next. Leg lift and lower. You decide if you want to use that dumbbell or maybe you lift and lower only for half of the set with the dumbbell. 20 seconds. 15, 10 seconds, five, nice job. So I'm gonna start off with no weight. I wanna make sure that my core is tight, my lower back is pressing into the mat. I don't wanna risk arching my back at all. I want to really focus on my core. So I'm going to see how I feel halfway through and if I feel like I could add in a weight. 
I think I'm gonna do it. Whew. Okay. But I can't go down to the floor. I can only go about halfway. My range is less. So next up, we have reverse lunges with a horizontal chest press. This time, I'm gonna do this 100% with the bands. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, so as I reverse lunge on the right, my knee comes to the ground and I'm pressing it out. I'm pressing out that band. I'm trying to keep my shoulders square, facing forward. I'm trying not to rotate my body. In five seconds, we switch legs. I'm gonna switch a little bit early because I need to adjust the bands, put them back in place. So I'm using rogue echo bands. I have a blue, a red, and a green. So that's basically beginner to intermediate in terms of the amount of resistance. But it's not so much that I'm not doing difficult exercises, it's that I need a good range of motion with these. Three, two, and one. Plank frog with a push up. So we're going down, plank frog, feet jump to hands, hello. Plank frog with a push up, hello. This is exercise number seven of 10, second set, halfway through, plank frogs. seconds, 15, 10, 5, okay, lateral squat walks with the dumbbell, 5 squats at each end, you should know what to do, we've been there, I'm putting the band around, whew, my knees. All right, five full squats at each end. Whew. Okay, five full squats. You've got it. Less than half of the time to go. Wow, the band makes it harder, like a lot harder. From here, we have man makers, no push up. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Okay. Man makers, no push up. Again, don't wait for me to start. You get started. The clock doesn't stop. So, we did two renegade rows, jump together, hammer curl, press up. And then the final exercise in the circuit is frog hops, forward and reverse. Less than halfway to go. Fifteen seconds. This is your last rep. Frog hops. Whew. After this, we'll get some water, towel off, start our third set. So every set should feel a little bit harder. Whew. And at the same time, you're trying to challenge yourself more. 
either by sticking with the same weights, lasting that whole minute. If you can't, that's okay. Do what you can do. Or if you need to pause me, pause me. Okay. And get some water. Towel off. 30 minutes remaining in class. Three more sets. See how that goes? Oh. Burpees. Wide leg. I'm still going to hang on using this band, but maybe on my fourth set I might drop it. I don't know. I'm debating. Here we go. Wide leg. Push up. Jump up. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Okay, it's goblet squat time. Holding the dumbbell, two hands, feet are turned out, 10 and two o'clock. Letting those knees track over my ankles, pulling the hips back, squeezing. Whew. Breathe. Focus on your breathing halfway. Squeezing the glutes, pulling them up. 20 seconds. 15. Now on the slight chance, you're at home thinking, this isn't hard enough. Okay, then I challenge you to increase your weights. Add in an upper body movement. At the same time, you could do a hammer curl with the goblet squat. Right now we're going to upper right, uh, upper, upright rows, front facing press up. Don't arch the back. And again, if too hard, lower the weights or alternate. Doing the right, unilaterally, left. Whew. From here, squat jumps, and we're halfway through class. Whew. It's all downhill from here. Just kidding. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squat jumps. So remember, these can be air squats. Focus on sitting back, jump up, sit back. seconds to go. Next, that leg and lift, lower, with the dumbbell, without, half without, half with, you decide. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. Good job. Whew. Okay, so take a moment and set up appropriately. Small the back, lower back into the mat. Lift and lower the legs. You've got it.
So I am going to forego a dumbbell at this point. I'm just focusing right now on my lower abs. And I feel like because I'm getting tired, I don't wanna mess with my form and strain my back. I wanna really focus on my core. 10 seconds, then we go to those reverse lunges. You can use a dumbbell, but I'm gonna show you with a band. Whew. So standing up, taking your dumbbell, or if you do have a band, right leg reverse lunge, dumbbell press out, or band press out. Now look, I am getting my knee all the way to the ground. I really want you to try and do that as well. Kneel to stand. Don't think of it as reverse lunge anymore. Think of it as I'm kneeling, I'm standing. I'm kneeling, I'm standing. I'm now switching legs. This is exercise six of 10. Plank frogs with a push up are next up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. What's also nice about this workout is if you don't have the time, let's say you do this one day and you know what this workout is, but you decide, you know what? I only have 30 minutes. Make it a 30 minute workout. You can stop after two sets, after three, whatever works for you. So it's a five minute warm up and then 10 minutes per circuit. Less than halfway to go. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Lateral squat walks with five squats on each side. And if you're using a band, you might say, you know what? I don't think I need the dumbbell. I have enough resistance with just the band. And I gotta be honest, it's a lot of resistance. One, squeeze the glutes. Push against the resistance, keeping your knees forward, and walk it. Low squat, walks, laterally, five squats. Less than halfway. From here, we go to man makers. Whew. You're doing it. Get those hips back. And last one. Man makers, remember, no push up. We've done enough at this point. I want you to get in as many rows as possible. Hammer curls to press up. Renegade row, renegade row. Feet jump to hands. Hammer curl, press up. Whew. seconds. Ten seconds. And done. Last but not least, we have frog hops. So we're coming to the end of set three. Two more to go. From here, you know the drill. We'll get some water, we'll towel off, and then we'll start with those burpees, wide leg push up. Less than halfway to go. Ten 
seconds. You've got it. Woo. Water. Hydrate. Wipe. Back to burpees. We're in the business of burpees. Whew. Less than 20 minutes to go. Fourth set. You should feel so strong right now, probably tired. And if you have the time, do not stop early. Keep going with me. 30 seconds remaining with these burpees. seconds. 15. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Goblet squats. Woo. Almost fell over with that band. Okay. If I seem like I'm tired, I am. This is hard. I knew it would be challenging. I knew I'd be struggling by the fourth set, and I am. Are you? If so, tell me, say, hey, Rebecca, when you said I'm struggling in the fourth set, I was right there with you, but I kept pushing through. Whew. Twenty seconds to go. 15 seconds. We got those upright rows to a front facing press up. Next. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Upright rows, front facing press up. Forty seconds. Squat jumps coming up in thirty seconds. I'm watching the clock. Don't worry. The good news is, with this workout, it's really hard to not count since everything is on the minute. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Squat jumps. And if you're tired at this point, you're like, you know what? I just can't squat. Air squat. Leg lift and lower next. Supine position. Exercise number five, set four. 30 seconds remaining of these squat jumps. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Supine position, leg lift and lower, contracting the core, small the back, into the mat, into the floor, thinking about your lower abs. A lot of core exercises do not solely focus on the lower abs. This is one of them. This is why I love it, and it deserves a full minute of your attention. Less than 30 seconds. And next up, 
we have those reverse lunges with the dumbbell chest press or a band chest press. Either way, we've got that reverse lunge or think of it, kneel to stand up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, and stand up. Whew. Right leg reverse lunge, chest press. Kneel to stand. 10 seconds. Five, four, and I'm switching legs. In 15 seconds, we go down for those plank frogs with a push up. 10 seconds. Five. And that's a wrap. Plank frog to a push up. Remember, if at this point the jumping's bothering you, walk it in, push up. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds. And done. So we've got these lateral squat walks, five squats at each end. I'm gonna forego the dumbbell at this point. I'm just using the resistance of the band. I feel like for me, that's enough resistance right now on my four set. And you might decide, I just wanna use the dumbbell, Rebecca. Go for it. So we laterally walk to one side, five squats down, letting those hips pull back, knees tracking behind the toes, ideally over the knees. Whew. Net makers up next. And band off. Man makers are starting. Here we go. No push ups. Renegade row. Renegade row. Feet can the hands. Hammer curl. Press up. Halfway. Okay, frog hops. After this, water, towel off, fifth, final set. Now, by the way, if this is bothering you at this point, just monster walk, squat, monster walk, squat. I realize the jumping's not for everybody. Or, when it comes to the fourth and fifth set, you just don't have it in you anymore. My goal is 
to get you to the end and feel successful. Five, four, three, and water, towel off. Okay, 10 minutes. We can do this. It's game time. Fourth quarter. Whew. This is it. It's actually fifth quarter, which doesn't even make sense. <sighs> okay. And let's say at this point you're like, forget it, no jumping on this burpee. I'm just gonna stand up. Or I'm gonna jump every other one. Make little deals with yourself to get you through the whole minute. That's what I do with myself. I say, okay, Rebecca, just do five more reps. In a row, don't even think. Time. Goblet squats. Whew. Okay. So hopefully now that we're in the fifth and final set, you see the value of mixing it up like this. Instead of always doing three sets, 30 seconds, two sets oh, of three to four exercises, doing this list of 10, Five sets, in itself, a challenge. Doing it a full minute, a challenge. Now if we did it like this every day, it wouldn't be as challenging anymore, because our body would get used to it, it would become the new normal, and we'd plateau. By the way, if you feel like you're in a plateau, whether it's a weight loss plateau, you feel like you're not, building any muscle, you're not leaning out, you're not seeing changes for the last two to four weeks, it's time to mix up your exercise routine and whew, your diet. So check out whew, our nutrition discussions with Daniel because we address plateaus in two separate discussions. Whew. I can't stop saying woo. So sorry. Squat jumps are up next. 20 seconds. 15. 10 seconds. Five. Done. Squat jumps. And again, these can be air squats, just like this. Forty-five seconds. From here, supine leg lift and lower. Thirty seconds. seconds, 15, 10, way to go, At this point, I'm guessing most of you are no longer using that dumbbell. You're solely focusing on lifting and lowering your legs. This is exercise five of 10, and we're in the final set.
15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. Whew. Okay, reverse lunge with a press out. So again, think of it as kneeling to standing. We reverse lunge back into a kneel, press out. I can't tell you how excited I am that we have four and a half minutes remaining in class. It's a little over four and a half minutes. Five, and switch legs. Okay. Next up, plank frogs with a push up. Okay, here we go. Hello. Halfway. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And done. Lateral squat walks with a band, with a dumbbell, with both, five squats at each end. So keep those feet hip distance apart, squat five times. And five squats. Man makers up next. This is exercise eight of 10. We are so close, my friends. You have killed it today. I am done after this. I'll be eating and stretching. Remember, we have stretching videos. Don't stretch alone. Whew. You can stretch with Daniel and Sienna. Over halfway. Frog hops will take us over the finish line. As Olivia Newton-John says, I can't wait. Last man maker. If you've used the right weights and done all the reps you can, when you are done with this workout, you should feel complete, like you can't do any more. If you feel like, wow, I can still work out for 20 minutes, half an hour, then you haven't pushed yourself enough in this workout. But if you feel like me, like this is it, wonderful. That's how I want you to feel at the end of this workout. It's 55 minutes, this is intense, intense, intense. Total body, use every muscle in the body. 20 seconds. 
15. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and done. Thank you so much for joining today's 55 minute total body boot camp. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know every time one of our workouts posts. And if you like this workout, give us a thumbs up, send us some comments and feedbacks down below. And finally, do not forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. We will see you tomorrow. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.